G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now one of the first things to becoming a Microsoft Loop Rockstar is understanding the user interface and the canvas itself. So in this video, we're gonna take a walk through and outline every single piece on the Microsoft Loop Canvas uh, so that you can uh, become accustomed to what everything does, when you click something, what happens, and everything like that so that you can then not only know this for yourself, but then you can become that Microsoft Loop Rockstar inside of your organization and share uh, your ideas and your thoughts and your experiences and really get uh, other people onboarded with Microsoft Loop. So let's kick things off. And the first thing that you can see on the screen here is that I have got Microsoft Loop installed as a progressive web app. So step one for you to have a look at is navigate to the Loop application in your browser and then install this as a progressive web app or a PWA you'll get a dedicated experience like you're seeing on the screen. Now, let's start in the top left-hand corner. The icon up the top left will take us back to the Loop homepage. So when we click this, we're taken to the dashboard or the homepage of Microsoft Loop. We then click and we can click inside of a particular workspace. These little icons up the top here, we've got our notification settings here and we can see uh, what activity or what, uh, if anybody has notified us or at mentioned us in any given page. So that's the notifications. We've got a search uh, experience here too. So we can search through our uh, loop pages and we can bring back anything that we are looking for inside of there. You'll also see that we've got a shortcut. So Control J uh, is a shortcut to open up that search experience. So if we go uh, Control J, you'll see that that experience, uh, the search box will appear at the top. Now across the top here, this is our header. Let's just call this our header area. We can see this icon here. It shows the page that we're on, but then it also gives us a breadcrumb navigation. All right, so it shows us where we are in the structure of our loop workspace. Moving across to the center, we've got um, our uh, user icons or our profile pictures of the people that are actively inside this page uh, right now. So you can see that Alex has this file open and also Megan has this file open. So that's uh, showing us who is actively on the page. Over on the right hand side, we can copy uh, this page as a loop component and then we can take that uh, and paste that into other experiences. For example, a Microsoft Teams conversation, a, loop, a, um, a Word document, uh, the body of an email. The button on the right hand side, our share button, when we click this, we, again, we can share the entire workspace. We can get a page link just to this particular page that we're on, or we can grab this as a component and then we can embed that com this component or this page as a component in those other endpoints as well. These three little dots, we can access our version history, we can delete the page, and we've also got our settings. So in our settings, we've got privacy, uh, where we can, oh, general tab first, where we've got our uh, theme, so we can get our system theme, our light theme, or our dark theme. We've got our privacy settings, and we've got an option here for experiments as well. So you can see here, when Copilot becomes available, we can turn this on or off, uh, and also we can turn uh, Jumpstart Workspace on or off at this particular point in time. Right hand side, you've got your profile picture where we can sign out if we need to as well. Now moving back across to the left hand side in our sidebar, we'll see in this, uh, this section uh, in the sidebar in the top next to the search icon, we can collapse and expand our sidebar. So if we wanna focus on our work on our page, then we can collapse this sidebar and then we're presented with just the page that we're working on. Recent gives us uh, our activity feed of recent uh, pages that we have or components that we have been working on. This is our ideas section. So again, this is where we can create outside of a workspace, either a personal page, or we might want to collaborate with another person, uh, not inside of a workspace, but in just a uh, confined uh, page itself. 
down the, down the sidebar here, we've got getting started. Now this is where we can navigate our workspaces. So if we're part of multiple workspaces, this is where we can quickly and easily navigate and switch between. We can also start a new workspace and we can also then browse all of our workspaces. And when we click that, you can see that we're taken straight back to the loop homepage. On the right hand side of the title area of the sidebar here, we can change our view. So we've got a tree view or an activity Activity view the purple button here we can add a new page or a new link okay so when we go to new page you can see that we are presented with a blank canvas we've obviously got our templates down the bottom here we can explore other templates so we can go, uh, access our template gallery and start our page from that point if we navigate on the left hand side again, we've got our page structure. So you can see here that we can expand and collapse our hierarchy of pages. We've got three little dots next to each page where we can create new sub pages. We can open this page, we can share a page link, we can share the page as a loop component, we can rename and style, and we can also add it to another workspace, which is interesting, right? So we can add this particular page to another workspace and it's going to then add it to that uh, to that workspace as well, all right? We can also delete these pages from here. So if we no longer want this, we can then delete and then we, are, uh, we have then deleted that page. All right, so there we have it, a walkthrough uh, of the anatomy of not only a loop page, but also the entire loop canvas itself. So I hope that brings you some value today. Now I do have an accompanying uh, cheat sheet for you that is available to download. So if you just navigate to modernworkcollective.io forward slash loop, you can pop your email address in there and then I will send you um, the accompanying um, cheat sheet for you that outlines what each of these components can do as well. You can distribute that amongst your organization, use it as part of your training materials, uh, and it is open and free for you to use. So again, I hope that brings you some value. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.